<laughs> oh, Clean Eve. Can we beat her? Yeah, Lyrian Arbalest goes away. I don't think we're gonna need Huber. Lyrian Cavalry. Let's go with the Lyrian Cavalry first. Let me play a Spell Weaver. Mahjong. Play that deck? Check this out. It would work better, the 41 Foltest. Oh my god, no one upvoted this. I need to look. With the spell viewer. Yes. What do you want? Poultice would work better, or just uh, having a lot of cards would work better if uh, the basic units, Left. like for example, right. Sintrin and Chantress, right. would not cost points, but would actually give you points. So then you would have to have small units in the decks, in your deck, to have to have big units in there. Would you guys be into that? So, for example... I'm not, not exactly sure how would it work, but... For example, you put this in and instead of costing 5, it would give you 5. And instead of this costing 10, would po would possibly... I don't know. Maybe it would cost 10, who knows. The prob but thing is, uh, some, of, some of the cards would give you points. Others would would cost points, or at least I would like some reason to have a big dex, uh, like in the past. Nothing like playing Talar and then three dumb banners come out of your deck. What? Enter my security code? GOG. You, you're being stupid, okay? Can you just show me the fucking deck? Everything has to be so connected these days. Like, oh, you wanna open a website? How about logging in? Oh, you wanna log in? Ooh, maybe you hey you haven't logged in uh lately. So maybe you just wanna use your email account right now. No, I don't want to do any of that. <laughs> Alright. No, here are mats. Oh, that Tridem is pretty dangerous. Should I lock it? I should consider locking it. I'm glad we help. If I live to see it. Aye, aye, sir. Okay. Dumb banner. He's out of the deck. By me. Be a lot nicer without the chance Elves of losing a die. card. Oh, really? Huh. You can still play more dumb banners. Well, maybe do Sintrin Enchantress. Also play Taylor. Oh, it's a little bit too late for that. You can play Taylor then Vondergriff. This round one is crazy. 
I do want to play a deck like this. Try them. Thing is, if I played my tried, the move would die for sure. The second I played it. Wait. How many cards this Voltus has? 25? Wow, you only have 25 cards. The whole point is to have 40 cards. Nah, this is not good. Back to the drawing board. Redvik. Redvik, you gotta back to the, you gotta go back to the drawing board. You gotta have 40 units in there. Like what is this? I'm disappointed. How could you have only 25 units in a 41 card deck? The point is to have the most amount of cards. What about try them from summoning circle? That's pretty strong. Summoning circle is very strong, except if you run into artifact removal. That says, uh, lose the game on the spot. Who takes an interest in combat? No one. Okay. Still wants his card advantage. Fucking fight. I don't know if he can get away with playing Wondergrift here. What do you guys think? Do we just pass? Or do we play Wondergrift? No, that's just too greedy. If I played my Wondergrift, he would play his own Wondergrift plus a boost. Pass. Ass. Bloody non humans. I don't know why people are not playing this. This is a sleeper card for sure. This is a stupidly powerful card. Resilient, five points. What are you guys doing? How is this not in every single deck right now? Cards in there. If I get an extra archer or mauler, we're fine. We can just play the other card. What do you guys think? Is it possible to build like a fully bronze, fully card deck, and do fine with it? Yeah, this is not great. Retreat! Damn it! Oh, fuck. Of course. I guess I, I don't know. I want to play the botching a little later. Hopefully there's no way to kill the three. We must trust each other. A little annoying. Hmm. What else? Ah! This has two shots. Should die anyway. Washling gets played.
Maybe I can play his botch line. I had a hammer. I had a hammer in the morning. Play that. I think I have to. Oh, he's gonna boost this buff. Actually, we can. No, we can't do it. Get a little excited here. Next round, we got a drug. We'll transform. Just try to kill Anna, at least. Again. Punch Anna, transform, play drug. <laughs> Not sure what I wanna replay. I have no idea. Anna. First of all, it needs to be something that I can actually target. Well, let's say Anna gets murdered here. damage why are they so sure that they lost it okay apparently yep nine points is enough plus we had something it just doesn't feel extremely impactful but it's it's okay it's it's okay so we just went GG hi Bruver so Arbalest is not something I want to use round one Ballista is trash. Yeah, Bruver is the go-to choice if you want to play a leader that just want to punish all the units that are based on Rose. Yeah, he would be my leader of choice for sure. Maybe we've got to go back to Squirtel. Actually, I want to go back to Squirtel and see what kind of changes happened. Because Squirtel is probably my favorite uh, faction. Like, I'm not, well, I'm not sure if I can say that, but like, it was my favorite faction for a long time. Uh, lately. But then the Syndicate came out. Syndicate changed a little bit. And before Squirtel was my favorite faction, it was mostly between Monsters and Nilfgaard. Manticore, that is a trick. Play. Your arrows shall fly straight and ever strike your foes. So obviously the Sintrian Enchantresses are Sky not Attack! the best Attack! in this deck, but they kind of work with uh, the Sintrian Spellweavers and Right away, this gives 6 points, and this gives 8 points, if the other one is alive. Suddenly, oh, I have to boost the botch line. 
Ha <laughs> ha! Leave it to us! The time of the white frost and white light is now. If you're down 12 points, it's not impossible, but it's pretty hard. I just pass. I'm playing Kira with Natania Pastodia and try the infantry and people instantly forfeit. Those fools! Don't they know that Natania Pastodia is an idiot? He stacks all his bleed on one guy. I know, I played him. You guys told me not to, but I did. Must have cards. Yeah, let's kick that and definitely kick the Arbalist. We play Lyrian Cavalry for the Queen for everything. I'll get it done. My great granddaughter will do great things. It's a good thing that it's not locked to a certain row. Lyrian Arbor is just dangerous. The waters of Brocolon, the taste still upon my lips. What? He's talking about the waters of Brocolon? They taste like Brocolon? Alright, King Hansel plays an Arbalist, and we play another Arbalist. And we just kill everything he plays. Look at this. Order is just so ridiculous. Let's see what we get. No, 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 no. Pass. Let's see what we get. Uh, we can't play that. We can play Pure Mats. A little annoying, but not like we can avoid it. Two big units. What break would be nice to play? Let's just go with Aratusa. Oh, oh, Lady Margarita told us of this. <laughs> now, this is one unit he might move. Oh my god. He's playing the boring script though, that's what I don't like to play. Peace with humans, advise us! The problem is, like, I don't really have finishers. I need some cards that I can play actually later, because all my cards are... are cards that I have to play early. Okay. If I get the sword, I'm just screwed. The North, Tamaria. I won't get the sword anymore. 
lock something, but there's nothing to lock. Spawning a big tree. Bring the Aquinox to clear immunity. How about that? I'm gonna play Hubert Drake last. I definitely need a card that I can play last. Play this. Get her. We can get rid of the shield. Garbage. Hero Mats was okay. A lot of good points. Yes, one. Fine. Let's enter the fray. Let's see if we can find some value here. I brought Sabrina's Inferno. Be right. I didn't even consider it. Your opponents before for before last card, anyways. This guy wanted to see what do I have up in my sleeve and GG.